what's up heroes mike here and thanks to you guys let me know about the new trailer that dropped we've been hearing about this for a long time that wb games montreal was teasing a new batman game of some kind for a couple years now we don't know what the hell it was uh we just knew that the main primary uh enemies or villains will be the quarter owls or centered around that um so from what i've heard somewhat that seems to be accurate uh looks like this is called batman gotham knights uh so i haven't seen this yet. i don't know what's how this is going to play out i don't know if this is connected to batman arkham games or not um but after we watch this trailer i believe there is some us uh, about seven minutes of gameplay to check out too plus we're going to check out uh, ign articles too so probably check out the IG, IGN article after this and then look at the gameplay. We'll see what's going on. All right, let's check it out right now. In breaking news, we've received reports of an explosion somewhere north of the city. We're still waiting for the police to confirm if explosion. there are any victims. The story's evolving rapidly. Please bear with us. We are just really loud. Boom. Hmm. There was smoke everywhere. Emergency services have confirmed that they've discovered a body buried in the wreckage. We're still waiting for further details. Emergency vehicles are It appears that a large portion of the building has actually collapsed. What are they talking about? An explosion rocked Gotham City earlier today. We are now able to confirm that billionaire philanthropist Bruce Wayne is... What? They killed off Bruce? Did, did they kill off the Batman or is this some type of... Or is it like maybe you fake this death type of thing or something? I don't know. Oh, black. If you're watching this, I'm dead. That's not Kevin Conroy. This is a cold black. The hell? Who's that? This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. We both know it won't take long for Gotham's criminals to realize. So Batman's I don't know if this is set in the Batman Arkham universe because usually it's been what Kevin Conroy voice in Batman. Never trusted us since Jim died. And Jim Gordon's dead too, Gotham apparently. Need its protectors that was Barbara Gordon. This that looks to be Nightwing. I'm leaving you the Belfry. Yes, yeah, definitely Nightwing. Some of the technology is outdated. But it has the gear you need and all of my files. That's Robin. So wait, was the first person Jason Todd, well, I maybe? Because he had the little hair in his, uh, white so. hair. And it might be effective like the uh, Ra's al Ghul's little pit thing. Hold on, hold on. Let's go back and listen to that. Sorry, chat. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. We both know it won't take long for Gotham's criminals to realize the Batman is gone. And you can't count on the GCPD. Haven't trusted us since Jim died. Gotham will need its protectors more than ever. I'm leaving you the Belfry as base of operations. Some of the technology is outdated. But it has the gear you need and all of my files. You've always had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. Wow. Wow. What the? Another thing too is, I don't think this is set in the Batman Arkham universe because Red Hood, as far as like what happened in Arkham Knight, like with Red Hood, for example, to Barbara Gordon was in a wheelchair in the Arkham series. So what the hell? Why did is this like an alternate universe in the series? I'm, I'm confused. Robin looks all right. Hmm, I wonder if that's actual gameplay. That girl looks pretty cool. Seems like she may play very similar to Batman. Got some Tompas. Nightwing seems like he mostly plays the same or would. Let's see, Red Hood. Yep, using the guns. Which is interesting they're doing this because <laughs> Red Hood uses real bullets. So what the hell is he using? Is he using like stun bullets or whatever the hell? I don't know. 
Whoa. Ooh, cloak? Damn. I'm probably gonna enjoy Red Hood the most, honestly. I love that character. Oh, wow. Robin teleport? Okay. Okay. Huh. Mr. Freeze is back. Tonight. I wonder if this is all single player or if this is co-op. Because it's four playable characters? Yeah, I wonder. No the hell? one talks about them. Port Isles, there we go. There they are in Talons. They're assassins. Not a whisper word is said. This almost feels resident evilish. Kind of. For if you try to crush them. Then, hmm. The town strikes you dead. Okay. Um, 2021, so next year sometime. Wow, okay. I thought it might be coming this year, but I'm guessing it's going to come on, you know, current gen, then PS5, Xbox, Series X, hopefully PC. Let's see. Is there any indication? At least that's what I'm guessing. Um, no, nothing. Okay. All right. So as I said, um, yeah, let's check out IGN and see what the articles are saying about the details of this game. See what my, my, I might be right about or what someone might be right about. Let's check it out. All right, here we go. So this is what IGN's article is talking about uh, by Jonathan Dor Dornbush. Uh, yep. After years of teases, rumors, speculation, yep. Bad Markers or Orange Studio. Yep. Revealed the next game. Um, Let's see. So yeah, we know it's Gotham Knights. So it looks like it is coming to PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and PC. Okay, that's good. Um, let's see. Oh, the game will feature two-player online co-op. Okay, five boroughs of Gotham City for players to explore. The ability to drive around via bat cycle. Ooh, interesting. And also combat and gear that will grow as the game progresses. That sounds like it might be RPG-ish a little bit, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Because, I mean, the Batman Arkham games are, like, have light RPG elements to them, but they're mostly, you know, action-adventure type focused. And uh, great combat. Let's see. So here's the official description of each character in the game, which teases some of the unique abilities of each that brings to the table. Oh, sweet. Okay, here we go. So Batgirl, also known as Barbara Gordon, is a determined uh, fighter and skilled hacker. As the daughter of deceased Gotham Commissioner Jim Gordon, uh, she had helped Bruce, sorry, Batman, as Oracle in the past. Now, after years of recovery and preparation, she is ready to step into her new role within her melee Tafa and harnessing her training. And keep watching. Wait, 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 wait. So, in this storyline, she recovers from the gunshot wound and being paralyzed somehow? Okay. But. It doesn't seem like it's in the same universe, universe as Batman Arkham, so I'm, I'm confused at where they're going with this, but okay. Um, Nightwing is Dick Grayson, the first Robin, uh, who was Batman's protege before becoming a hero in his own right. He's a natural leader and the eldest and wisest member of the Batman family. Uh, Nightwing's mastery in acrobatics is complemented by his ex expertise use of his signature dual Eskrima sticks, uh, making him proficient at taking out enemies. Nice. Red Hood, uh, formerly known as Jason Todd, is an intense and volatile anti-hero. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's putting it lightly. Uh, which stems from his death and forced resurrection by one of Batman's most dangerous foes. Red Hood uh, has trouble keeping his temper in check, but will not hesitate to step into the line of fire when a friend is threatened. His training has given him peak human strength, really, and proficiency in multiple combat techniques with, a, with all manner of weapons, both traditional and high-tech. Nice. Robin is Tim Drake. So they got pretty much all the Robins in here, basically. Plus Barbara Gordon. Like, I, I do love that aspect. I do really like that. They got all the Robins. They got, you know, Dick Grayson, the first Robin, Jason Todd, the second Robin, and Tim Drake is the third Robin in here. All right. Uh, so Tim Drake, uh, the young prodigy and genius of the team, who is a master of de deductive reasoning, as a true believer in Batman's mission, he is motivated by the conviction that Gotham City needs protecting and hopes to be 
the type of hero Batman personified. Huh. An expert fighter armed with his collapsible quarterstaff and skilled in a variety of stealth techniques. Robin also possesses a background in combined psychological warfare and various sciences. Ooh, nice. Okay. Got some cool screenshots here. 29 images. Uh, so a Prometheus message from Batman. Uh, his friends explains, uh, yeah, that's what we're talking about. He died supposedly, or the message is sent out because if he dies, um, basically trust them to keep Gotham safe. Uh, so that's some minutes of gameplay. We're going to check out here in a bit. Let's see. Play major role. So quarter owls. Yep. Is the main enemy. Let's see, but the developers tease that the mystery of in Gotham Knights is way bigger than just the quarter owls. Really? Huh. Okay. Batman team teasers include possible first look at the game's map and in game inch shots, so Easter eggs. Yep, yep. Uh the few internet knots, upcoming project. Yeah, they they were these guys were teasing heavy on freaking Twitter and shit for several months or a long time now about this game and everything. So all right, let's check out the seven minutes of gameplay on YouTube because I feel like it's going to be better looking. Let's see. All right, here we go. Seven minutes of gameplay. It's seven, eight minutes. Let's see what it's like. Hopefully it's good. I would imagine it might play somewhere to the Arkham games because this doesn't seem like it's in that universe. So I'm wondering why it's a different universe. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Hi, I'm Patrick Redding, creative director on Gotham Knights. On behalf of the whole team at WB Games Montreal, I'm really honored to give you a quick look at our gameplay. Belfry, Elliot Center is covered in ice. Whatever's causing this is localized. This is, bef this is before pre-alpha. We're going to look at a short clip from one of Gotham Knights villain crimes in a pre-alpha build. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, because the way it looks, it's either alpha or pre-alpha. And we're playing Batgirl a dozen or so hours into her character progression. Robin joined the session, so yeah, it is online co-op. No split screen co-op. Based on uh, what we just saw there in the top right corner. Is this uh? Is this 1080p? With a mysterious agenda that involves manipulating the weather to flash freeze the city. An important goal for Gotham Knights looks a little laggy all of the game either solo or in two-player co-op the hell yeah I mean to be fair this is pre-alpha so it's gonna probably not look too polished at all honestly so we got to give it some give it a little bit of leeway pre-alpha gameplay it's not gonna look all that great has mastered some more familiar techniques yeah, she definitely plays more like Bruce or Batman. Oh, that's pretty cool. And developed a few new ones of her own. Nice. Huh. Unlike the Arkham series, though, it definitely looks more RPG-ish a little bit because you see the health bars, you see like the numbers, like it's a level of each enemy type. Just a heads up, the chopper's under orders to fire on anything that moves inside. It doesn't seem to have that simple, like, counter system or combat system where, like, on PS4 you press triangle to counter. So it definitely seems more RPG focused. You need to hurry and find a way inside Elliot Center. The GCPD chopper made that part easy. But still seems to kind of hold a little bit of, like, the game mechanics from Arkham series. This doesn't look up to code. This doesn't look next gen though either though. I mean it looks it looks alright. I would hope that this looks way better on PC though, and plays better on PC. If anyone asks, I meant to do that. I won't say a word. Hmm. Not a fan of uh Batgirl's voice or voice actress though, like I don't know. 
Maybe because I'm just used to the Arkham games when it comes to Barbara Gordon. Gotham Knights is built to let players approach each challenge with their preferred style and their preferred build. Okay. So there is builds. Yep, definitely more of an RPG. Interesting. And it, I guess it's good they do this because, you know, in this day and age, a lot of us like to customize our character like you know you see it in justice games or justice 2 uh, hell mortal kombat 11 as far as at least their look and you know their moveset a little bit and especially if it's more of an rpg approach you definitely want to have the ability to customize your hero the way you want to from an ability moveset look standpoint as well um combat looks good although i do hope the ai is a lot better in terms of challenging than what they're being right now because they just look like they're just standing there waiting to get hit <laughs> to be honest um they don't really seem to be offering much of a challenge and i hope they really fix the ai that's a cool ass combo move sweet okay To be run on PS4 if that's the circle button. You'd rather take the stairs? These cables on the floor. Guaranteed they lead to breeze. Also, it's kind of weird how it's it makes me wonder how successful this game could be without playing as Batman, even though Bruce is technically in it. But they've killed him off, though. So, like, I wonder how people are going to receive this and think. Let's see, Alfred's in there, though, as a character. This definitely looks like it needs more polish, though. I just hope it gets significant improvement towards the final launch or final release of the game or whatever, in full game. Then again, since it is co-op, what if they'll give us a beta? That might be cool. That'd be actually dope if they can give us a beta for this shit since it's co-op online. Get away from my storm engine. Is that what you're calling it? Oh crap, I mean to uh, move this. You don't want to be on the roof when this disruptor goes off, trust me. Irrelevant. I already have what I need. This phrase is pretty cool. The storm has risen. Kind of looks, you know, like you expect them to look, I guess. Nothing can stop it. We'll see about that. You cannot run from me. Nice, so he's a boss fight. Okay. And you can fight them together? That's dope. An important element of Gotham Knights is that as the player increases in power and ability, their foes keep pace. So confronting oh? a villain like Mr. Freeze can be a very different proposition at level 5 or at level 15. Really? And not just in terms of stats, but in the kinds of attacks and defenses they bring to bear. Oh yes, okay, that sounds very promising. That the was just fact a short that peak at Gotham Knights. We're gonna have more to show you in the future. Ah uh, yeah, it's about to be over. Okay. So let me stop real quick. So yeah, what he was just talking about really sounds promising for this type of game because he's saying basically that Mr. Freeze is a boss, and I guess bosses in general in this game are gonna act differently, play differently differently, depending on what level you're at. He was saying this he's gonna play different from with your level five character compared to when you're level 15 that is good in my opinion because that shows in a way the evolution of gaming and technology and just how ai works in games in a sense and the fact that i would hope that he would be more challenging and do different attacks like let's say if i you know we go in as with a level 15 character versus a level five character you know because i definitely don't want this I don't want any of these enemies to feel too easy. Let me just clarify that. 
And like earlier, I was mentioning like the AI where you just sneak a bomb and they're, you know, Batman, or sorry, not Batman, Batgirl and Robin were fighting. They seemed too easy. Like the AI was just standing there waiting to get hit, taking downs like that. I mean, sure, the one guy was aiming a gun at Batgirl, but it's like he didn't shoot. I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping they really get the AI good and solid in this game. Um, and from what I saw there, as far as Mr. Freeze, you know, in terms of his attack patterns and stuff like that, seemed like he looked a little bit better, more challenging a little bit than the regular AI grunts or enemies or whatever. So that's promising. I hope it goes well. This is pre-alpha footage gameplay. So, I mean, obviously there's going to... It's not going to look too polished. There's going to be some lag or issues, whatnot, you know. But, like I said, hopefully they get it all ironed out by the time the game releases. Hopefully we can get maybe a beta access since this online co-op and we can try it out. I don't know. They might do it, do it as a pre-order bonus. Who knows? I mean, they, they might do like how Marvel Ventures is and do a pre-order bonus for the beta or something like that. Um, I don't know. But I hope they don't do a, like... Oh, if you appear on PS4, you get early access to debate and whatnot. Nah, make it available for everybody. You know? Oh, exclusivity shit. Nah, just make it available for everybody, you know? But it looks good. It looks good. I I don't I don't like that they killed Bruce Wayne personally, but I understand what they're trying to do here. They don't want to just give us another Batman game. We can play as Batman when we already had three in a well, technically four. They want to give us, you know different characters to play as, you know, and introduce us to some new characters that maybe some, some of us have never played as. So I do like that aspect. Uh, I think it's bold, respect for it, you know, see how it goes. Just have to wait and see, honestly. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below, heroes. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. And hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything on my channel when I post it up. My name is Mike, and I'll see you next time.